morning, everybody. Um, I'm coming to you live from Boca Raton, Florida. We got to drive through, drive, we flew, we did not drive. We got to fly through some storms last night, so it was exciting getting here. Um, but everyone's still asleep. <laughs> so instead of a beautiful beach or a nice, um, beautiful background, we're at the campgrounds. <laughs> so I am happy that you are joining me and I look forward to a, a good morning, um, a good morning flow with everybody. So my name is Michelle and I welcome you to this morning yoga practice where we might have some special guests of little lizards and critters that are <laughs> native around here. So if I scream in the middle or something like that, you'll please forgive me. <laughs> All right. Um, let's get our watch going, our timer going and we can go ahead and get started. So sit in a comfortable seat and start finding your breath, listening to the sound. Big relaxing inhale, cleansing exhale. Imagine all of that energy that you no longer need, you're getting rid of. Such a cleansing process we do all the time. And with each breath, we'll just try to quiet our minds a little bit. Coming into this present moment, right here and right now. Let's add our arms with our breath. So as we inhale, we'll bring those arms up. Exhale, let them float back down to the earth. Inhale up, exhale back down, inhale up, exhale, we'll bring that right hand down to the left knee, left hand behind us, as we straighten up we'll look over that left shoulder. Keeping the right hand where it is, left hand will reach up and over into a side stretch. Now since this right hand is pulling us, we're going to want to try to pull forward. Resist that. Make sure we're keeping those shoulders stacked. Both sits bones stay on the earth. Sitting up, that left hand will come to the right knee and we'll fold forward gently. As we straighten up, we're going to bring our arms straight into eagle arms. So we'll just bend that right arm up, the left arm will come all the way around until our palms touch, lifting those elbows so that they're in line with our shoulders. We'll do some cat-cow breathing here. So as we inhale, look up, exhale, pull that core in, getting rid of all that air, inhale up. Exhale down. And inhale up. Exhale down. 
sitting back nice and tall, we'll untwist those arms, bringing them back down to our sides. Inhale, both arms up. As you exhale, left hand comes to the right knee, right hand behind us. As we straighten up, look over that right shoulder. Right arm will reach out and over. And sitting up, the right hand will come to the left knee. Good. And bow forward deeply. Each exhale, trying to relax into your posture, letting go. Sitting up, we'll come into our eagle arms once again. So the left arm bends all the way up, right arm wraps around. And always remember, if eagle arm is too strenuous, you can always do that hug. Lift the elbows up so they're in line with the shoulders. Cat cow breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. up again once more nice and tall we'll stretch those legs out in front of us coming into our staff pose backs are nice and straight feel the energy just going out of the crown of your head as if you have that strength pulling you straight up as you exhale you can just gently fold forward breath try to just relax a little bit more and let gravity do the stretching for you let go As we roll up to a seated position, we'll pull the right leg in with us, cross it over the left thigh. We can lean back on our hands as we draw the left foot in, coming into our seated pigeon. However close you bring this left foot is how deep the stretch will be. And we're gonna press that chest up to our thighs. feet in front of us. We're going to rock back gently to a boat pose. Now with your boat pose, as always, find that spot on your tailbone where you get a good balance. See where you can go today. Maybe you can get both of those feet up off of the earth. Maybe even your hands. Maybe you can even straighten those legs. forward and exhale into a forward fold. When 
Rolling back up, we'll pull the left leg in with us, cross that ankle over the right thigh. And as we lean back, we'll pull that right foot in, pressing our chest up towards those legs. Seated pigeon or upright pigeon. What do we call this one? go ahead and relax and we'll come to all fours tabletop position. Check our alignment here. Knees and hips are in alignment. Wrists are directly in line with our shoulders. Keep those shoulders active. Our tummies are pulled in so our core is activated. And we'll do our cat-cow breathing. As you inhale, you drop that belly down, opening the chest, looking forward in our cow. Exhale, up into the cat. So we tuck that tailbone, tuck the chin, arching that back up. Inhale, back into cow. And just go back and forth between the two postures following your natural breath, noticing if you have any tension, any pain, and just spend some extra love in those areas as you need to or as you want. Go ahead and finish one more set. We'll meet in a neutral spine. Toes touch, knees as wide as your mat. Let those hips sink back to your heels, stretching the hands forward before we melt into our mat, into an active child's pose. And if it feels better today, you can always pull those hands in to support your forehead. Rolling back up to our tabletop position. We're going to keep that right hand down. The left hand is going to reach up into a twist. Left hand will thread underneath the right arm until you can rest all the way down on that left shoulder. Left cheek reaches. And we're going to do the different variations here, but taking it to that, that last step where a lot of people don't like. So the first step arm reaches to the top of your mat. If this is a good stretch for you and it feels great, you can stay here. Second stage, <laughs> you can reach that right arm behind your back. See if those fingers can actually even reach the inside of that left thigh. Sorry. <laughs> and then we have the third. You're gonna go ahead and see with that right hand if you can hold that right leg up and come into a balance. Go ahead and release. Press back up to your tabletop. Find your alignment. And we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. So right, did we just do right hand down? Okay, left hand stays down. Right hand will go up. Thread the needle with that right arm until you're on your right shoulder. 
left hand reaches to the top of your mat. Try to reach that left hand around, wrapping it so you can see the inside of that right thigh. And if you want to try for the third level, right left hand reaches for that right left foot, sorry, and you go up into your bow. to our belly so I always have to walk my hands out a little bit more keeping those elbows pressed in we'll warm up our back so we can do some sun salutations here pressing up into a cobra with our inhale elbows are pressed in shoulders are pressed down looking forward exhale back down to your mat inhale up Maybe go a little higher, see what it feels good on your back. Make sure that back doesn't start collapsing. You can keep it nice and long. And exhale back down. And one last time, inhale up. Exhale down. We're gonna press back through our tabletop. Tuck those toes under. I'm going to press up into downward facing dog. Walk your dog out here at first, pressing one heel in at a time as we get our alignment with the rest of the body. Keep your gaze in between your feet so that our ears are in between our arms. Come to stillness, tilt the pelvis forward a little bit, press those heels towards the mat, it's okay if they don't touch, but as they are pressing, your knees are going to naturally straighten. And we're going to take little baby steps, get those feet up towards the hands. Knees can stay relaxed here. And we're gonna rest our chests onto our upper thighs, just hanging out for a moment. Let the upper body go slack. Maybe give it a little sway, a little bob. And slowly roll up to a mountain pose, one vertebrae at a time. Feel the energy just flowing around our bodies, coming down our backs. Keep that tailbone tucked under. All four corners of our feet have equal weight. Our thighs are engaged, so they're pulling up off of the knees as that energy is flowing up our front. Feel our core being pulled in. Shoulders should be pressed down and back. Tuck that chin under a little bit and pull the head back so that our neck is in alignment with our spine. Tadasana, or mountain pose. We'll inhale both hands up, exhale into a forward fold. Step back to your downward facing dog. Lower to a plank, 
or if a half plank is in your practice, whatever feels good this morning. We're gonna lower to the mat. Inhale back up to Cobra. Exhale back down to your mat. Press through your plank or half plank, lifting those hips, downward facing dog. Bend both knees deeply, look to the top of your mat and make your way there. Maybe it's a big step or you can keep doing those baby steps. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. So flat back, you can keep those fingertips on the earth. Slide them up your calves if you want a little bit more support. Or maybe even bring them all the way up to our thighs. We want to make sure our gaze is straight down so that our neck is nice and long. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale with gentle knees. We're going to come all the way to the standing Tadasana. Root to rise. And then hands to our heart center. And breathe. One more time, starting with the opposite leg. So inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Step back with your left foot, then your right, downward facing dog. Lower to your plank, lower to your mat. Inhale up, cobra. Exhale down to the mat. Press through your plank, lift those hips up, downward facing dog. Bend both knees deeply, look to the top of your mat and make your way there. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up to that flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. And bring our hands to our heart center. Good, I hope it feels good and you're ready to get started now. Inhale, up. exhale, forward fold. Step back to your downward facing dog. Shifting our weight to our left foot, right foot raises in a three-legged dog. Three-legged dog, our hip stays square to the earth. Foot stays flexed. We're gonna bend that right knee. Go ahead and open the hips up. So now there you see our stack, that's the difference. And then as we straighten back out, we're gonna draw that right knee to the right elbow. Hold it. Come back up. Three-legged dog. This time we're gonna bring the foot all the way through the hands. So draw it to our chest like that cat pose so that we have more space to swing the foot through and come to a low lunge. Coming light on our fingers, we're gonna look here and make sure that our knee is in alignment with that ankle. Let that energy flow out of the crown of our heads. We're gonna bend that back knee and come up to our crescent lunge. Once you have your balance, lift those hands up and maybe you can even look up to the fingers today. And we'll pull both hands down to our heart center and prayer pose. And we're just gonna do a twist to the right and come back to center. Twist to the right. Try to keep your lower body completely still. And twist. Both hands will come down to the mat. Left hand will stay planted. Right hand will come up in our twist. Right hand comes down. 
Let's lift that back knee, low lunge, right foot comes back, downward facing dog. Shifting our weight to our right foot, left foot raises, three-legged dog. Bend that left knee, open up the hip. Maybe even give a peek under that left arm a little. I'm gonna straighten back out, get that leg back up in three-legged dog. Pulling that knee in, we're gonna go to the outside of that left elbow. Come back up to three-legged dog. And this time, swing all the way through. Pull it in first, pull then through for a low lunge. Light on our fingers. Looking forward. Drop that back knee and tuck the toes. Lifting up. Crescent lunge, arms coming up. And if you can, go ahead and look up. And bring our hands down to our heart center. And just twist to the left. Both hands will come down to the mat. Right hand stays planted, left hand is up. Left hand comes down, we'll lift that back knee, low lunge. This time when our left foot comes back, come to a plank. Lower to your mat. Inhale up to Cobra. Exhale back down to the mat. Press through your plank, lift those hips up, downward facing dog. Bend both knees deeply, look to the top of your mat, make your way there, exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway up to a flat back, exhale forward fold, inhale root to rise. And hands to our heart center. Tadasana. Inhale our hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Step back to downward facing dog. Shift our weight to our left foot, right foot raises, three-legged dog. Bend that right knee, opening up the hips. Peek under that right arm. Straighten that leg back up. Pull that right knee into the right elbow. And back up to our three-legged dog. And now, knee to chest. Swing that foot all the way through, lifting to our low lunge. Look forward. Drop our back knee, lift up to crescent lunge. Arms up. And look up to those fingertips. Both hands come down to our mat. Left hand stays planted. Right hand reaches up. And now that right hand is going to reach all the way back. Left hand reaches up. And back through. Lift that back knee. Low lunge. Bring that right foot back to meet the left. Downward facing dog.
shift our weight to our right foot. And left foot raises. Open up that hip. Left foot raises once again. Pull that knee in to the outside elbow. So left to left. Three-legged dog. Foot all the way through. Low lunge. Look forward. Drop our back knee. Lifting up to our crescent. hands come down to the mat, right hand down, left hand reaches up, and now that left hand will reach all the way back, right hand up. Cartwheel our hands down, low lunge. Bring that left foot back to meet the right plank. Lower to your mat. Lifting up to a cobra. Exhale back down to the mat. Press through plank. Lift those hips up. Downward facing dog. Bend both knees deeply. Look to the top of your mat. We'll make our way there. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise. Bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Don't you think I didn't notice that I missed the twists? I saw that. <laughs> Step back to our downward facing dog. Shift our weight to our left foot, raise that right foot. Bend the right knee, opening up that hip. Extend the right leg up, right knee to right elbow. Three-legged dog. And swing the foot all the way through. Low lunge. Look forward. Drop our back knee. Crescent lunge. Hands up. Hands down to our heart center. See, if you guys were here, you would have reminded me. We're going to do our three twists. To the right. Two and three now our hands left hand down right hand up cartwheel the hands back up coming into our back space left hand up now as we cartwheel our hands down this time we're going to push off of that back leg coming right into a pyramid. So, pyramid pose. Imagine you're on skis. Both feet are facing forward. That left, that back foot, the heel can pull up, but both legs are straight. So, pyramid, relax, down to our crescent. Lower back down, lifting up to pyramid. Relax. And then lower down to crescent. One last time. Lower your hands, pressing up to pyramid. Relax. And lower that knee. And lifting the hands up. Both hands come down, come just to our low lunge. Right foot comes back to meet the left. 
downward facing dog. Shift our weight to our right foot, left foot raises. Bend that knee, and looking forward, over our, under our arm. I have raindrops coming on me, so we'll see how far we get here. And left foot extends, left knee to the left elbow. Left foot up. Swing that left foot in between the hands, coming to a low lunge. Look forward. Drop that back knee, looking into a crescent. And up. Bring those hands down to our heart center. Twist to the left. One. Two. Three. Hands down to your mat. Right hand stays down. Left hand up into a big spinal twist. And then we're going to cartwheel the hands all the way up into our back space. Left hand reaches for that right leg. Right hand up, up to the sky. Cartwheel both hands down. I'm going to pop that leg up to come to our pyramid pose on this leg. Relax. Lower down to crescent. Okay. And lower the top to pyramid. And crescent. Lower up to pyramid. Let's do one more. <laughs> Lower to our crescent. Right, as our hands, both hands can come down. Lift that back leg. Left foot comes back to meet the right. Plank pose. Lower to your mat. Lifting up to either your cobra or maybe even an up dog. Pressing through your plank. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and lower both knees. We're in our tabletop position. I'm gonna do some circles. Stretching out our wrists, maybe our knees and hips. Go in both directions. Cross our ankles, or you can just go ahead and swing your legs around. We're gonna come to our backs here. So I'm gonna rock all the way through, scooch to the top of my mat. And I'm gonna do a yoga roll down. You can do whatever you want to make it really down to your mat. That was a really bad yoga roll down. <laughs> my apologies. I should have taken a spray. I'm sorry, the humidity is really getting to me here. Oh, the rain feels nice though. Oh, big cleansing breath in. All right, we'll walk our feet in so both knees are bent. Heel toe so that our feet are as wide as our mat and our knees can touch. We'll bring our right hand to our bellies, our left hand to our chest. And we're going to count for the breath. So we're gonna do four inhale and then try to do six for the exhale. 
when ready. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. One more. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six. Heel toe those feet until they're touching. Let those knees open up to a reclining frog. And we'll open those arms up to a cactus. Straighten both arms out to our sides. We're gonna pull those knees in together to our bellies, I guess you could say. And we're gonna do a combination of our spinal twists, but we're gonna include core work here. So we're gonna let both knees stay glued together the whole time. And we're gonna tick tock back and forth between the both sides. And your task is to try to keep your upper body as still as possible and just use our core for this movement. Now, I said as, as, as still as possible. There's going to be movement and that's okay. And the stronger we get, the less movement there will be. So let's go head over to the left side. Pulling the legs through center. Go over to the right. Do this with lots of control through center <laughs> over to the left my raindrops are getting much more <laughs> regular and intense so you might have to show uh, you might have to do your um, shavasana on your own I'm sorry <laughs> back and forth Nice and slow, so we're getting the good stretch in our back. We're not hurting it, but we're also working the core. Right, last one to the right. As our legs are up, we're gonna cross the ankles, reach down with our hands. We'll just give a little rock side to side. So we release our feet to the mat. We'll keep the heels as close to the sits bones as possible. And we're gonna slowly peel the pelvis off, coming into a supported bridge. So both arms are down alongside the body. Keep that pressure so that the knees are um, pushing towards each other. Don't rock out on your feet. And we're gonna roll down one vertebrae at a time. Excellent. Go ahead and straighten first one foot, one leg out the other and you are coming into Shavasana so if you want any props at this time this is the time to get them cleansing breath in cleansing breath out with every single breath feel yourself just grow heavier on your mat melting into the earth And let's go ahead and start with our body scan. So we'll relax those toes. If 
feel that release moving up our feet. Breathe relaxation into the calves, through the thighs. the tension in the hips and let go of those core muscles next breath just let go of the hands allowing the fingers to curl up naturally Feel that release and relaxation traveling through the arms. And as we come to the shoulders, breathe as we just let go, release the tension. Feel that relaxation travel up into the neck and even relax the jaw, maybe allowing the mouth to open just a little. And relax the muscles of the face. Imagine allowing all of that stress, all of the tension, just leave out of the crown of our head. And just be in this moment, in this stillness. Even though we may be far apart today, I see you there and I feel you and I'm just so grateful to share this practice with you every chance we get. So just lying here right now, we're going to bring our hands together, bring our thumbs up to our foreheads. And as always, you need to end your practice so you can think your centering thoughts, your intentions, and remind yourself that you showed up, you are strong, you are loved. Thank you for coming. Namaste. See everybody soon.